Hello guys, it's KJ Designs. So welcome to this awesome tutorial. We are going to be making such a logo with a very unique look as I'm going to be showing you. For those of you that are new to this channel and those that haven't subscribed, please kindly hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when a new tutorial is uploaded. So without wasting of time, let's get started to the creation of this logo with a unique look. And so now here we start. We're going to make a simple design in a circular form. I want to create that logo with a unique look, a look of a 3D format. So we grab our ellipse tool, draw a circle, give it a width of 600 millimeters and a height of 600 millimeters yeah just like that so select the move tool align it to the center of the page yeah so that you can be accurate in what you're doing so remove the fill color and then increase the stroke width to at least 5 pt yeah just like that so, so out of this circle we are going to create a duplicate so select the circle duplicate yeah so you are going to make the radius of the duplicate 300 millimeters just half size of the bigger one yeah so align the smaller circle into the center of the bigger circle um, now out of this smaller circle we are going to make three duplicates so hold control move to the left create a duplicate make sure that it snaps onto the edge of the other smaller circle so and then place ctrl j on your keyboard so that you create another duplicate that's just that is just snapping another smaller triangle snapping its edges just like this now we are going to select these smaller circles all of these smaller circles the three circles that we have Holding shift on your keyboard, rotate to the left to an angle of 30 degrees. Yeah. You have to hold shift so that you be accurate. In the, be accurate in the angles you want to make. You have to hold shift. Mm, just like that, to the 30 degree angle. So we can move this last smaller sack of ours, the third one. It's no longer needed. It's no longer needed. It can be removed. So get the move to all of ours create a duplicate out of this bigger circle and keep it aside we shall use it later hold control drag to anywhere and keep that bigger circle we shall use it later so select this remaining three circles that we have on our page convert them to curves select the exhort hole and then get the node tool so holding control on your keyboard right click left right click left click on the unwanted lines so that you can remove them just like that remove the unwanted lines by holding shift and then left clicking to the unwanted lines just like that yeah, for those that haven't subscribed to this channel that are new to this channel, please uh, kindly, kindly hit that subscribe button. You have to make sure that you're actually when you're removing these unwanted lines, unwanted points, curves. Yeah, so remain with such a shape. So you have to zoom in closer in the downer points. Remove one so that remains accurate just like that so remain with this shape of ours so select all the points and then join the curves select all the curves and then join the curves yeah now it is one shape it can be filled with any color with any gradient of your choice so bring back the bigger circle that we had kept aside 
make sure that it snaps on the edge of the shape that we had created it has to snap into the shape that we had created just like that yeah so select this shape that we have the smaller shape grab your corner tool and curve this downer point of ours of the shape yeah so that gives it a perfect look yeah just like that so now we are left with a few steps now select this shape of ours enable the the transform origin feature we are going to create duplicates of this move the origin of this shape of ours into the center of the bigger circle selecting that create a duplicate out of the shape hold shift rotate to the right to an angle of 120 after rotating press ctrl and j on your keyboard to create another duplicate that is already rotated to an angle of 120 just like that yeah so Select the smaller shapes of ours that are in the circle. Create duplicates out of them. Then flip horizontal. Yeah, just like that. Then holding shift, rotate to the left. Rotate these duplicates to the left. Yeah, just to an angle of 15 degrees. Just like that, so that it looks to be perfect. Now we are left with coloring, coloring our shapes so that they give us the beautiful 3D look that we want to design that is up here. So we are going to select the tool and then give them colors, just simple colors. Colors, select that. Give it that yellow color, select this, give it this reddish color. Yeah. So select this other one, give it a light, a lighter color of the one that is on top. Select that, give it a lighter color of the red. Then select that to give it light yellow. Just like that. So that it looks like 3d ball something of that sort with a unique 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 look just like that now shapes with these light colors have to be at the back at the back so we are going to select shapes with these light colors arrange and then move to back just like that now we are done with using the bigger circle so now you can move it, you can remove it, yeah, it's no longer wanted. Now select all of the shapes. We are going to remove their strokes. Yeah, select all of these shapes and then remove the stroke color. Yeah, just like that. This is what we wanted. This look, this 3D look, this amazing look. So we are going to add a text. So select the text tool. We are going to use the font of Gears of Peace, yeah, like this font. So it's what we are going to be using. So type in your word, your name, anything of your choice. Yeah, revolve, then align it to the center of the page. And then fill the text with gradients by using the fill tool, yeah. For this case, we are going to use the three colors that have been used in this design that I've created, in this logo I've created. So, the beginning, let it be there, be colored with green, then the middle part be colored with yellow, and then this last part be colored with this reddish color, yeah, to give it a perfect look. So, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm in KJ Design channel with free graphics design tutorial for those that haven't subscribed please please those that are new to this channel please kindly hit that subscri subscribe button for me and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if at all you have enjoyed this tutorial thank you guys for watching stay blessed